After the whirlpool rest, wort needs to be cooled down to fermentation temperatures, 15 to 20 degrees Celsius for ales and 7 to 12 degrees Celsius for lagers. This is done in a wort chiller, which is a counter current plate heat exchanger consisting of a number of thin stainless steel plates arranged one behind another. The fermentation vessel should be cleaned, sanitized and drained of any sanitizer. Before the wort chiller is used to cool the wort, it must be heat sanitized. Hot water is flushed through the heat exchanger and transfer hoses until the temperature on the outlet is about 80 degrees Celsius. That needs to be maintained for about 20 minutes. After heat sanitation, the whirlpool pump is turned on and the wort should flush the water out through the T-valve at the base of the fermentation vessel. Once we see the color change from water to wort, the bottom of the fermentation vessel is opened to receive the cooled wort. It is also important to oxygenate the wort on its way to fermentation vessel. Oxygen is absolutely essential for yeast growth and reproduction. A corny keg containing a yeast slurry is connected to the wort chiller and it's pressurized with CO2 in order to send the yeast into the fermentation vessel. Once all the wort is transferred into the fermentation vessel, the temperature is adjusted and the fermentation process can start. 